Welcome to another TPO Fly to Month. Uh, this month we're going to do a hair and copper. Uh, the bead's a 332nd. The hook is a size 16. You can make them bigger. You can make them smaller. You know, it's up to you. Uh, for this one, it's going to use UTC thread. It's going to be olive. You can use tan, brown, whatever color thread you'd like. All right, for the tails, I'm going to use Coq de Leon here. You can use hen, you can use partridge, you can use mallard, wood duck, whatever you want. I just like the Coq de Leon because it's barred. It doesn't get damaged easily. It's tough. So, uh, put that on. Make the tails about as long as the hook gap is wide. There we go. Going to cut. Now for the ribbing. I'm going to use copper brown wire. You can use copper, whatever color wire you want to use, you could use. It's up to you. I just like this color here. The dubbing, of course, is going to be a blend of hairs here. Hence the name hair and copper. So, there we go. I'm going to dub the thread, push it up. Okay, I'm going to wrap my bottom and make a nice tapered body. This fly is nothing crazy. It's one of those two minute ones. Okay, now I'm going to wrap. Nice even spacing. Okay. Gonna take this half hitch it, make a few wraps here. Now gonna finish off the fly, but I'm not finished with the fly. I'm gonna throw a little hot spot in here. I'm gonna make it a real dull one. I'm just gonna use burn orange for this one. Build it up. Just a little collar behind the bead. Like that. Whip finish it. That's about it. And that's it. I really like the uh, effect of that burnt orange. It's much better. You don't always need to put fluorescence in your fly. So there you go. Real simple fly. Two second tie and uh, catches a lot of fish. And when you lose it, you don't care. So I hope you guys enjoy it and uh, have at it. There it is.